Hi, um, can you please introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about your job? I am Comptroller and Treasurer of H.E. Callahan Construction Company. My name is Rachel Reed. And in this role, I am the Group Administrator for Employee Benefits, uh, including health insurance. And so can you tell us a little bit about how um, your buying of health insurance um, has changed over the years, has been affected, um, and how it might affect the company as a whole? Um, health insurance has become one of our most significant costs. I would say 10 years ago, health insurance was less significant than the company's commercial package, especially uh, when one looked at, for example, workers' compensation as a com component of that package, um, I think if you look back 10 years ago, expenses like workers' compensation were seen as the more difficult cost to control and were seen as a greater expense. Uh, even if a company had a below average experience modification rating. Um, but today, workers' compensation, as well as other costs, pale in comparison to health care. Uh, in terms of a manager's ability to control costs or have choices in the marketplace. Um, I would have to say that in my experience, uh, each year is now a new mountain to climb when it comes to affording health care for our employees. And as costs rise, it becomes more and more difficult to offer employees a plan that both the company and they can afford. Um, the employee needs to be able to afford the plan in terms of their portion of the premium and in terms of the deductibles and uh, total out-of-pocket that will be expected for them to pay um, if they need to maximize their use of the system. And if employees cannot afford those expenses, and choose as a result not to participate, then the company falls below the 75% required participation rate, and then none of us are able to access health care through a group program. And how might uh, universal care change this situation for you and your company? Um, I think that. I think that universal care um, will be able to uh, offer employees the opportunity to participate in a health care program at all phases of their life as an employee, whether they are on layoff or whether they are um, sick um, or in the case that an employee dies accidentally. Uh, um, you know, in a, in a car accident or uh, due to a long-term illness, it means that their family will still be covered um, and will be able to have continuum of care as opposed to now when uh, people have to wait to have their um, Medicare, Medicaid privileges approved through the Social Security Administration and disability approved and that whole package can take almost a year sometimes to get through even though they try very hard to process um, the packages for terminally ill patients. So um, I would say that also it's important to know that health care and health insurance has really impacted our um, ability to expand, our inclination to expand. We're able to expand beyond uh, the 49 to 50 person size company, but there's a penalty for that. And if when, um, if our employee numbers are greater than 49 people, when it begins to be a figure that matters, we will be asked to pay a penalty. And that means that dollars that um, could have gone to health care uh, will not be able to go to health care. They'll be going to penalties. Now, I think that I have to elaborate on that to make clear what I'm trying to say. Um, currently, we are really on the brink of not being able to afford health care.
At least that's my opinion. Um, and if we get to the point that we can't afford health care and our employee group is greater than 49 people, we will then have to spend money to cover the penalty per employee. If, however, we stay at 49 people or less and we get to the point where we can no longer afford health care, um, we will be able to take the portion of our budget that has been paying for health care, and while we may not be able to afford a group plan for everyone anymore, we will be able to give that money to employees to go to the exchanges so that we will be able to still enable our population to continue health care participation um, as opposed to using that money to pay for fines. Thank you. Do you have any final comments on your opinions of benefits of universal care? Is it something important to you as a person? Um, I think what's really important to remember is that we are the only um, the only first world country that does not provide the opportunity for health care to our entire population um, the way other public services are provided. And I would say that if with this model we had had the best outcomes um, at a, a cost that represented good value, I would be comfortable with the model. We don't, however, have that to say. We, we do not have cost in our favor, we do not have outcomes in our favor, and we do not have um, this basic need provided to our population. Um, so on that basis alone, one has to look at universal coverage as the, a step in the right direction, and one has to look at universal coverage as an opportunity to move toward a different healthcare environment. Um, I'm hoping that um, universal healthcare can, no matter what shape it takes, whether it takes place through private insurance companies or public in, uh, a public uh, institution, whether it is paid for through employment or um, something that is paid for in a different manner. Um, no matter what form it takes, I hope that we can start getting beyond the question of whether or not people have health insurance and get to the point where we start effectively managing health care cost. And right now, there's not a real impetus to do that. Right now, um, Certain easy paths to cost control, for example, wellness programs or good long-term management of chronic illness, um, is not is not approached from the employer standpoint or the insurer standpoint because there is no real incentive to do so, um, and that's that's got to be our next step: is cost control. And I think uh, with universal health care, we will have uh, a situation where everybody is participating and um, we can therefore address that issue more effectively. Great. Thank you, Mrs. Reed, for your perspective and your opinions. Thank you. I don't know how well that went.